You heard it. <laughs> it's time to work on the ducks. Thanks, guys. It's it, we're, we're we're getting there. They drive me crazy. Puddle they add to the floor every single day, twice a day. It's disgusting. It's time for them to move out. This isn't the move out video though. This is the build the pond video. Okay? I mean, look at that puddle. That's less than an hour ago, and they're dripping all their water onto the floor. All of it. Water. All because of the ducks. So every time we give them water, they pretty much blah, 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 duck activity. They play in their water. And they spill it. So we got to get those ducks out. They need about just another week, maybe, because they're really close to fully feathered, ready to go. We have to integrate them into the new herd and get them out there. But before that, we want to build the new duck pond. The ducks need to move out. It's that simple. They're getting too big. They're getting gross. They mess up my garage every single day. We have to get them out. And in order to get them out, my tripod's not working. In order to get them out, I need to clip you guys in my tripod. There we go. We have to build their duck pond. And their duck pond is right there. That pond, you see right there on the ground. It is, uh, you could pick it up. It's a koi pond. You could pick it up at like any of your koi pond places, whatever. It's 125 gallons. So they're going from a 25 gallon tub that we flip out and clean up and refill the water. It turns gross in, in a couple of hours, they make it gross. So we are going to move them to a 125 gallon koi pond, but we need to be able to get the duck poop out of it. And what I've learned over time by doing some YouTube videos on my own, is that you can't filter duck pond water. I mean, it's very, very difficult. It can be done, but it's very difficult to filter duck pond water and get their poop out. So we are turning it into a large bathtub with a drain on the bottom and a pipe under here. And then we're gonna have a valve that we can pull, which will then allow the whole 125 gallons to drain off into the woods. And then we refill it again. So we should only have to do that like every, three or four days, possibly once a week, but we don't know how dirty they're gonna get it, how fast they're gonna do it. So that's what we're doing. We're building a duck pond tub today. First thing we're gonna do is put this right in the center and trace it and cut a hole. That's what we're gonna do first. Now I have a feeling this is not gonna be as easy as I think because our drain here has these little bumps on it, which I may have to cut those bumps off. I literally might have to trim all these bumps off to get this to make a smoother fit before we squeeze that guy on there. But I might not have to. I might not have to do that. I don't know yet. We're gonna find out. I don't know if this is the right blade. <laughs> other side but I'm dry fitting it to see if it fits oh there we go so this is like I said little knobs kind of get in the way all right I got to figure out how to trim those off to be able to get this to really fit in there nicely that gap is not good. We gotta get rid of that gap. So in order to do that, you know what, we could just make a hole a lot bigger. I think what we're gonna do, because I could put some sealant, some rubbers. Yeah, we're just gonna make a hole bigger. That's what we're going to do. we're getting. That's 
what we didn't want to do. Yeah, we screwed this up. We lost this tub, and this tub was not cheap, so. There we go, perfect. That's what we're gonna go with. That fit in nice, just enough where we can put our rubber, like a seal, some type of glue around this, snap it in, and then work from the bottom. Aha! One other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some of these out to make it so more poop can fit down there because these, these holes are a little too, uh, too small for duck poop. We're not joking around. This thing's gonna be underground and we're not really gonna be able to fix it. It's gonna be tough. We're not gonna be able to fix it if it breaks. So I literally cut the end off of this tube of window and door waterproofing silicone because I want a lot of it. And it was an old tube too. Oh, this is gross. Non-toxic, so we don't have to worry about it affecting the water. Now we're gonna squish that out there. And we wanna seal this thing up all the way around. We want that to squeeze out of the edge. Now we're gonna put a lot of weight. And I got a phone call. Okay, we gotta put some weight on there, let it harden. And I don't know how long I'll have to read the package. Ah! Hands are dirty, phone's ringing, I can't hit stop on the, every finger is dirty, every single one. Gotta use my nose, hopefully that'll work. I'm here, I'm back, I'm right here. So the instructions say it can't touch water for about eight hours, so. It, it makes it a little bit of a challenge because I wanted to test the water to see if it would leak and I can't do that. So we're gonna let that harden up. We're gonna try to work on the plumbing on the bottom. So we got a four inch elbow here and a three inch to four inch reducer. This is gonna mount underneath there and then work its way out into the woods where the water will get dumped. But I have to try to attach this to the bottom of that green drain that we just put on and the problem is it's really, really tight. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it yet. But, and I also need a hose clamp for the end of this. I just noticed I don't have one. So I gotta find a hose clamp to fit that. And then we're gonna go underneath this tub and try to get that all hooked up. Needless to say, I am not happy. Three failed attempts, the camera fell over once. I'm not having a good time. I'm just glad you guys were on time lapse so you didn't have to hear all that. I have to try it upside down. It's not working. All right, we got it in. We used a different sealer that goes on white but dries clear. And we got the tube on the bottom attached all before I almost had a crisis, like a midlife crisis, like I was not in a good place. But I made it because, you know, that's how things happen. They don't always go right. So the next thing I have to do is build a wood frame for this to sit on before it gets buried in the earth. So the wood frame is gonna be like the size of the big portion here. And then this is gonna sit on it so none of the weight of the 125 gallons of water sits on that plumbing. I am not somebody anybody wants to be around right now. It fell off. Gravity just made it fall off. I don't understand. It was super tight with that hose clamp and it just popped off. Back to the drawing board. So I think what happened is the silicone slippery and gravity and silicone took over and plopped it down and it wasn't tight enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that harden and dry so I could flip it back over again, and try to get that thing on, but in the meantime, we're gonna use this big four by four down here by my feet. And we're gonna start building the wood frame, which will give us something for this to sit on so we can continue the project, really.
Careful, you're gonna hurt yourself. Nope. Yep. Oh. Whoa. Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna call that done. That frame is a beast. It's 125 gallons times eight. So it's well over 800 pounds that's gonna sit on top of that. But the earth is gonna be around it too, so not all 800 pounds will be on it. But we needed to make sure it was super strong. So we used every basically piece of scrap wood we can find. It's super strong and the plumbing will be able to come out underneath it. Hopefully that two by four won't get in the way for the plumbing to come out. If it does, we have to cut it. For now, the next thing to do is to set this over there, like in the earth where the pond's gonna go. Hopefully we can figure out this drain problem on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. All right, so if the pond starts there and ends there, that's the width. It'll also go from like there to there. I don't know that measurement. I didn't measure it because it doesn't matter to us right now. And then we're hoping to bring this beam down this way to a post here, and then there, and then this section has to get dug out. So to dig this out, be able to put the pond in that hole. That's the idea. Oh, more digging. We're back. Um, duck pond build. Hopefully, I did this right. It's gonna go there. My tube is gonna work its way down. Now it's time to dig, a, dig the trench. We gotta dig the trench, put on the first section of tube, throw in the valve, and fill this baby up and see if it leaks. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't leak. I can tell you right now, it's gonna leak. Oh yeah, it's gonna leak. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out though. want you guys to see the key component to this whole project is the valve that makes it so we can pull it and drain it like a big bathtub. Let's take a look at this guy right here. See that? It's like what would go on a camper, but it's huge. It's a four inch. It's actually 4.3, which caused a problem. But we got this side glued in. You pull this lever up 
and it opens it. It's called a slice valve. See, boom, holds all the water, pull it open, all the water goes down into the woods. But here at this end, we had to custom make an adapter to make it fit. So this is gluing now. That'll now fit into this end, which is the, the pipe is tapered. It's bigger here and skinnier here. So we cut a little of the taper off and put it on this side so we can get the taper on both sides of the valve. It's the moment of truth. We're gonna put some water in the duck pond, but we're gonna purposely leave the valve open to watch the water come out the end just a little, and we're gonna close the valve and let it backfill itself all the way up to there. So Let's just see what happens. I'll see on the other side. Okay? And then it's coming. Coming out the Okay, just shut the valve. Let's see what happens. Good. I think we're almost full. There, we're officially full. The pipe is officially filled with water. So now the pond's starting to fill. And we have a major leak. Major leak. Major leak. Yeah, to shut off the water. Major leak. Major leak. Major leak. Turn it off. Good job. Now, <laughs> well, we got a major leak. Wheel. Underneath there where the rubber meets the PVC. So, that means... Nope, don't undo it. Leave it alone. Brian, where'd you go? I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe.